Hey, feed delicious soaps and gifts. Uh, fans, I am back. I'm back. I am back. How are you guys doing? Thank you for asking. I'm doing pretty good myself this evening. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So, I'm working on a, another soap. I'm going to do a design that I have not done before. I'm going to do a, an ombre. Um, and the fragrance is going to be lavender and chamomile. So, white, lavender, purple, then deep purple. Um, I'm going to attempt that. It's going to be a little bit time consuming. So, I thought I'd get a head start in the oils. Here I have my hard oils, which consists of the cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil. I have those and then in my other container I warm my oils up so I can um, get these last bits of the hard oils melted. In this container I have that I'm pouring I have some candle and clay, olive oil and castor oil. So these are my standard oils and I thought that I would give you guys um, the reasons why I use these oils give you the benefits in soap making so the olive oil it's perfect for skin moisturizing um, let's see it gives your skin like a, a very clean and buttery feel it's extra mild there's a soap called Castile soap and it's used um, it's a hard bar soap and it's used primarily of olive oil 100% olive oil. That soap takes a long time to cure and to get hard because it's only a soft, it's a soft oil. Um, but it's called Castile and it's very mild, extremely mild on the skin. Even um, baby, you know, young children can use that oil, that oil, that, that's bar soap. Children can use my soap too. I really suggest, you know, five and over to use it just in case there might be a reaction because I do use cocoa butter and shea butters. Um, some people may be allergic to those. You know, by the, I guess by the time you're an adult, from, you know, even a teenager, you should know if you're allergic to any type of oil or butters. Anything that you might be allergic to, you by that age, you should know. So the other benefits of olive oil it helps with acne and relieves eczema now I don't make any medical claims I don't do that so don't be quoting me however I will say this a lot of my customers they do all order my oatmeal milk and honey soap because it really helps their it, it well it doesn't give them any type of um, irritation it doesn't irritate their skin like other soaps so I got a little bit of piece there, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and whip this up a little bit and put my fragrance in because you guys know I always forget to put my fragrance in the main batter, the main batter. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right. And I do this to get any air bubbles. I don't have any. All right, here we go. I blend and I mix. I blend and I mix. So the other oil that I put in here, well, other ingredients, shea butter. It's a moisturizer and, um, well, it also prevents like, um, well, let me see, what does shea butter do? So I know it's a moisturizer, it makes my bar soap hard. It does that as well. And then it also has, I'm trying to think, um, vitamins. So vitamins E, A, I think an F vitamin as well. And it, it has like a stable lather too. So people think that if there's no lather in your soap, then it's not getting your, your body or your hands, or whatever, it's not getting clean, but that's not the case. The bubbles are for us. We, so we see bubbles, we automatically think that um, for our skin is getting clean, but we don't need, we don't really need bubbles. All right. So if I get blended pretty well. Okay. 
All right, so the other oils that I use, uh, cocoa butter. I use cocoa butter, and that gives me a heart bar as well. It's a creamy lather. Uh, let's see. It, actually, you know what? It forms a protective barrier over your skin, so your skin will hold moisture. So I think that's pretty cool, too. And I just like cocoa butter. You know, this is my, one of my favorite parts of the video of even making soap is the batter. The batter. All right, so I'm going to end up, when I put the fragrance in, you know, I didn't measure it either. I need to get one point. Hold on, you guys. I need, a, I need another cup. One second here. All right. I've got my fragrance. Ooh, look. It's getting thick. I don't like that. Okay, here we go. And I'm wondering if I should have just broke it up and... Um, into the cups of color it, and then put the fragrance in. So I'm not gonna stick blend it, I'll just mix it in. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You know how, um, what is that? Uh, that lotion, the lavender, the Johnson & Johnson nighttime lotion that parents put on their babies before they give them a bath and then they put that lotion on them. It smells just like this, it smells so good. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. All right. So the other, the other um, oil that I put in. All right. Without a shot of a doubt, I film and I always get people calling, texting, everything else. But they don't do that when I'm not doing anything oh look at this purple you guys oh my goodness this is beautiful <laughs> this is so pretty i might have to put more in this is a gorgeous purple I got this purple from Brambleberry and it's called Queen's Purple Mica. It's gorgeous. It almost makes me, uh, the scent, I said almost, makes me wish there was a baby in the house so I can give him or her a bath and put the lotion on him. I said almost. It's nice to have a quiet house, I'm telling you. But I will say I do miss my grandbaby. He's such a joy. My granddaughters, they are two. I miss all my grandchildren. They all live so far away from me. All right, so I have this one. And typically you start, I should have started with the white and the, um, the dark is last, but it's okay. All right, so here's this one. And my goal is to get light, lighter, dark, you know, just the ombre effect. So light, not so light, dark, and then darker. So it seems to be holding up pretty well. As far as the fragrance, you know, you guys always have an issue with that. So it is a difference. This I want this one to be a little bit darker though. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now a lot more. But that's okay because I want it dark. A rich purple. I really hope this turns out. So what I'll do is I'll put the darkest one in first. And then the lighter purple. 
This almost looked like mauve. Yes, this is the perfect purple. This is what I was going for. Okay. Stickling this just a tad. And I want it thick. I want it thick. So it can harden up fast. Got those bubbles in there. Okay. But yeah, those are the oils that I use um, in my soap and I also use cannelon clay in the oils to give it a nice smooth um, slick on the soap. A slip, not slick. Goodness, the slip. All right. All right. I want to see how this one looks compared to the other. Ooh, look kind of pukey, like a pukish color. I will say it's lighter though. It is lighter than the other, the way I want it. I don't like the, um, I don't, I don't like that. Hmm. Well, let's see, what do you guys think? Can you even tell the difference on camera? I think it'll work. I think it'll be okay. All right, so this one is going to be there. Got that there. And then this is the one that when you put Titanic. Um, titanium dioxide, it gets... Well, first of all, it makes the soap white. I'll, I'll say that. It makes the soap white, which that's what I want. Um, but also, it makes the soap, the batter, harder, more firm sooner. And I want it... Mm -mm. That's like kind of drastic. I think I want it a little bit wider. So I have some made ready right here. I think I need one more color to be mixed in between white and this one here. I don't know the name of that color. I'm gonna call it Pute. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it looks like that for real though. So what is, we're in the month of um, July, mid-July and Schools are opening back up here in Florida. I think that Arizona is closed. I'm not sure what other other states are closed. The schools are closed. Alabama is opening up the schools. What do you guys think about that? Do you think that the school should remain closed? Do you think that the schools should be open? What are your thoughts? I'm very curious. I, I don't have any school age children and I think that it would be a hardship on me if I did and have to work as well. I think that would be a, a very big hardship of trying to find someone to watch my children and go to work.
I'm not sure why my camera keeps going off. My phone keeps going off. I'm trying to film this. Let's All right, I'm trying this again, you guys. I'll, I'll put this video together. It, uh, hopefully this seem a little seamless. All right, so this first layer has hardened up and I'm just gonna just pour, hopefully it doesn't go through. Good, it's not going through. Just pour this in there. to delete some of the files out of my phone. I'm in the market of getting a new, well, getting a camera, getting something better than what I have right now. Because it's a little cumbersome of trying to film and keep looking at my camera. Well, my phone my phone camera and yeah all right I like this okay I think it might work out I really do okay so I'm actually gonna stop it and then when this harden up I will come back All right, I'm gonna try to pour this on without it um, penetrating the top layer. It should be okay. I don't know why I'm talking so low. <laughs> if I talk low, maybe it won't go through. I'm actually, you guys, I'm pretty satisfied with this soap, though, I will say. I like how the colors are different. The purples, the mauve, the puke color, the purple is beautiful. My only thing is, I, I'm not sure if it's going to stay this color. Because I've never used this colorant before. That's the only issue I have right now if it's going to stay this color because I'm not knowing but I guess we'll find out once I cut it probably cut it tomorrow night okay and then I'll put the white on top of this I was hoping I would have enough soap, some soap left over, because I wanted to pipe, pipe it on top. But um, it's not a whole lot left. So I think I measured it perfectly this time. Okay. Well, after the soap, I have a couple more that I want to make. I want to make a pink sugar soap. It's going to be in pink, of course. And uh, I want to make some salt bars. Okay, there we go. All right, we got that. And then here's the white. Right here. Okay, so here we go. And you know what, is it blended enough? I want to make sure that there's no white specks. Okay, we're good. Oh no, 
I see some white specks. Should have used my stick blender to mix it up. But I have that soaking in some soapy water. Dish water. Ooh, y'all. What a day I had. So um I didn't do my due diligence in getting my car checked out. I was in a car accident on Mother's Day. And I needed a car, went to the car dealership, and I got a car. I love my car. However, what I did not do, I did not take it to get inspected. And it was a buy as is car. So, seeming like the power steering, the power steering with the transmission um, is going out. I'm going to need some struts and a few other things. So, yeah, I'm not happy. Call the dealership. Went up to the dealership, and I just should have did my due diligence and got the car checked out, and I didn't do that. So, but things will work out. I'll, I'll figure something out. All right, that's it for this soap. I have a little bit left. It's not enough for me to do any piping. I'm happy with this. This is going to be a flat top. This is fine with me. I'm good. Um, I'm more interested in just to make sure that it has that ombre effect. So we'll see what happens. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, you guys. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to my craziness. Sometimes I know I don't always um, make sense. So I do appreciate you understanding. You know, I'll put some glitter on here. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any of my videos, go ahead and hit that bell button. And everything looks better with glitter. Hit the bell button and then also subscribe, share my video. I keep telling you guys I'm trying to grow it. I think when I get to um, 100 subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway. What I'll be giving away? I don't know yet. I don't know. But I'm going to give something away. Hi. So I'll give something away. I don't know yet. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. You know what? Hold on a minute. I think I want to put some of this on top. I have a little bit of a um, purple left. I'm not going to mess this up. Oh, look at that. This is pretty. Oh, then watch what I do. Watch me. Where's my little sticky? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, let's see how this is going to work out. Huh. Look at here. Look at here. Isn't that pretty, guys? You know, I don't know if y'all can really see this. Because everything looks better in person than on camera. That's why I got to get it better. Um, you need to <laughs> get something better to 
film my videos with but isn't that pretty all right i think we got winner here winner winner chicken dinner got it it is done it is complete it is finished now i'm really 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 anxious to get this cut i think i might leave it in here for a few days it seems a little wet all right Thanks again for watching.